Welcome back to learning Docker. Now in today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at configuring containers with Compose. So the first thing you're probably going to ask is what is Compose? Um, this is essentially another tool that Docker provides, allowing you to predefine a Docker configuration in a YAML file. If you don't know what a YAML file is, it's just the easiest way to describe it. It's a space indented file structure. Um, quite similar to things such as JSON and uh, XML, but it has its own syntax with uh, colons and um, dashes and so forth. Um, but I'll just cover that very briefly because this is not a YAML tutorial. So let's just dive straight on into things. Now, previously we've looked at just building con uh, building containers from command line options and also Docker files. In this tutorial, we need a little combination of I'm going to say the the two because we're going to use um, we're going to use a Docker file and we're also going to use a Docker Compose file. So the first things first, we need to create a Docker file with an image. Now in this case, um, I'm just going to call it uh, I'm just going to use sorry uh, PHP 7.2 Apache. A very simple Docker file, no other configuration, no other setups, nothing. Now the next thing I need to do is set up a Docker Compose file. So First things first is create a new file, call it docker-compose.yml, so it's a YAML file. Um, if you're using something like Visual Code, it'll instantly identify it as a Docker Compose file and have a little pink whale icon next to it. And let's start having a look at the structure of what this Docker Compose file would be. Now the first thing you'll need to do is define a version of Docker Compose you're going to use. And in this case, I'm just going to use version 3. So it's version colon space 3. Now, the Docker Compose can also um, contain multiple containers. So um, we, we basically define these within Docker Compose's services. So we create a variable with services. And um, because you can have more than one, you do a new line. It should automatically indent by two spaces. And then we'll just call our service. In this case, it's just www. Now, the service itself then needs a set of attributes itself. So if you remember previously, we built a Docker file uh, by simply just doing docker build dot, or we basically docker build and then directory. Similar sort of thing with the docker compose file. It's um, the only difference is, sorry, it's just simply build colon dot, that's it. So we just say in build me that directory. The next thing we want to do a bit of port mapping. So we just state port, indent that because it's um, a new level, uh, sorry, it's a level below it. This is actually an array. So a way arrays are defined in YAML is with a dash before each element and then just simply states the ports we want to map. So if you remember when we were looking at ports previously, it's um, the local PC's port on the left hand side, the dock contains port on the right hand side. So I'm going to map port 8040 just to stop any conflicts to port 80 on the docker container okay so the next thing we need to do similar to the last tutorial is attach a volume so you do that by simply saying volumes again an array where we're just going to have um well, we need to create a directory for a volume first and we're just going to say src i'm going to map src to bar www html which is the main directory that we're going to be using for the PHP 7.2 Apache. And finally, the last thing, you don't need to do this, I just like to do it, is to find the network that you're actually um, going to have the Docker contained within. So we'll just say network, and for this one, we'll just call it, um, I should show that, that should be networks, and it because it's an array, and we're just going to say default. So it's a standard default network. So that's our Docker Compose file. So what can you actually do with a Docker Compose file? Well, you can build it. And by build it, you can simply just create it straight away. So if you just do Docker Compose, you can see the set of functions that you can actually use for this. So we could just build it by using Docker Compose build, or we could actually skip that step with a combined um, function and use Docker Compose up, which will create it and start it. So you could do a slow process by building, um, doing a build and then doing a start if you did not want to just run it straight away. But for this one, I'm just gonna get it straight up and running with Docker Compose up. Hopefully I'm not gonna encounter any errors. What is this? The Docker Compose file is invalid because unsupported configuration option for services. Ah, 
port should have been ports, plural. Let's try that again. Hopefully we'll create it without an error. There we go. Now we can test this to see if it's working by simply opening ourselves a tab, going to localhost port 8040. Um, we're getting forbidden because there's no files in our directory. Um, we can get around this by going into our source, create a new file. Simply just call it index.php for this case. Uh, let's just simply state uh, echo um, we're in our composed container. So if I go back to the page I was just on, refresh it, we're in our composed container. So we've now just defined a Docker container within uh, a compose file. So like I said, we could um, append multiple uh, containers to this. If you wanted to manage lots of Docker files, you could then create subfolders for this. If I'm correct with Docker files, you can't have this more than one Docker file in one directory. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong with that. Um, but I think I am right. Um, and that is basically Docker Compose in a nutshell. Now, there's a bit more to it, so I'm just going to terminate the shell by just control C in it. If I can do Docker dash compose PS. Now, there's a little caveat to uh, Docker Compose PS opposed from Docker PS. Now, Docker Compose will only find the processes running, uh, sorry, the Docker Compose PS will only find the processes running which are relative to your Docker Compose file. If they're not relative to that file, they don't do the same as Docker PS, which will find all running Docker containers. Now, if you just simply wanted to clean up your Docker container here, um, if you remember previously when we are looking at Docker Compose fun um, functions, we have a down method. So we can stop and remove containers, networks, images, and vols. It'll do a big cleanup of everything that we've just defined in our Docker Compose file, which is fantastic if we just want to do a simple cleanup. So we can just Docker Compose. Sorry, let's try and get that right. Docker dash Compose down. So we've removed the network. We've removed everything that we've associated to it. And now if I just used to do a Docker Compose PS now, there should be nothing. Okay. So that is a simple way of just creating a very simple Docker container um, uh, with Docker Compose. Next tutorial, I'll want to expand on this a bit more and use Docker Compose more than just simple Docker files and these elongated command line uh, uh, commands that we have been using. Either way, I hope you found this useful. Um, I seem to have a, a little bit of traction now on my learning Docker uh, videos, so I might do these a bit more frequently. If people are waiting for my learning solidity tutorials, I'm working on the next part of um, the Ethereum adventure, and I'm also trying to come up with um, a good learning solidity tutorial. And on top of that as well, I do plan to do some more learning PHP tutorials. But if you are interested in any of those, hit the subscribe button. If you did find this video useful, there is a thumbs up down below. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback you'd like to give me, there is a comment section down below. All links to necessary um, uh, GitHub repositories and so forth will be in the description box. You've guessed it, down below. Now, um, that is basically it for today. Um, I hope you found it interesting and useful to you. But until next time, I will catch you around.